hello guys i welcome you all to my channel do hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet now we are going to solve this problem from hibbler fluid mechanics and the problem says that dry air at 25 degrees c has a density of 1.23 kg per cubic meter so let me write that uh, we have dry air at temperature t1 let's say that is 25 degree c and in kelvin it will be uh t1 will be 25 plus 273 in kelvin so 25 plus 273 is 298 kelvin so t1 is 298 kelvin so the dry air at this particular temperature has a density of 1.23 kg per cubic meter so now let me write that the density at t1 is let's say density 1 and that is 1.23 kg per cubic meter now further it is said that but if it has 100 percent humidity at the same pressure now the pressure remains the same so now this the the dry air at this particular temperature and some pressure p uh, it has that same uh, this density equals to 1.23 kg per cubic meter so let me write that the pressure for these conditions is let's say p1 and now for the second condition that is let's say p2 which is equal to p1 in the problem statement is said that but if it has 100 percent humidity at the same pressure so its density is 0 0.65 percent less so now the density is let's say that the density 2 is uh, 0 0.65 percent less than density 1 so we are asked to find that particular temperature at which this will happen at same pressures so now the density the, the density is 0 0.65 percent less than density 1 and we have to find the temperature at that particular uh, case when this happens when the density is 0 0.65 percent less than density one so we have to find that temperature so let's say that t2 is the temperature in calvin and let's say that small t2 is the temperature in degree c uh, let me write that this is uh, let's say tc the temperature in degree c plus 273 so we want to find the temperature tc and degree centigrade at which this will happen so the problem in, this is required in the problem statement now we can apply the ideal gas equation so we can say that p1 is equal to rho rt and for p1 the density is rho 1 and r will remain the same and t is t1 and similarly the for the second case p2 will be equal to rho 1 rho 2 r and t2 now p2 is equal to p1 the problem says that at same pressure at same pressure so p2 is equal to p1 so we can equate both of these equations so now we can write that p2 this p2 remember that in both of these ideal gas equations the temperatures are in kelvin so now we can say that uh, rho 2 r t 2 is equal to rho 1 r t 1 now r will remain the same so r will cancel out and we can write that rho 2 but rho 2 is 0 0.65 percent less than density 1 so now let's find that rho 2 so rho 2 is 1.23 which is density 1 minus 0 0.65 percent of this same density that is 1.23 now 0 0.65 percent is 0 0.65 divided by 100 so now let's convert this percent into 0 0.65 divided by 100 so this will be our row 2 now row 2 is 1.23 minus this percent into this so this will give us the density row 2 so this is 1.23 minus 
uh, 0.65 into 1.23 divided by 100. So this gives us 1.222, 1 1.222005. And since this is density, the units will be kg per cubic meter. So this is row 2. Now, we have simplified this equation, this equation from ideal gas equation, so we can say that T2, we are interested to find this Tc. So now we can write that uh, this T2 is equal to rho 1 into T1 divided by rho 2. And now if we want to find the Tc, which is the temperature in degree C at the uh, when the density is 0.65% less than rho 1, so we can write that T2 is Tc plus 273 rho 1 divided by rho 2 into T1. So we can write that Tc is rho 1 divided by rho 2 into T1 minus 273. So now let's plug in all the values. We know rho 1 which is 1.23. Row 2 is 1.222005 into T1, which is uh, in Kelvin, that is 298 minus 273. So this will give us the temperature in degree C at which the density will be 0.65% less than row 1 at that same particular pressure at which the initial conditions are given. So now this is uh, 1.23 into 298 divided by 1.222005 minus 273. So this gives us temperature in degree C that is equal to 26.95 degree C. And now if I add uh, 273 to this, we will get the temperature in, uh, in Kelvin that is T2 is equal to 300 Kelvin. So now this is that particular temperature which was required to have the density 0.65% less than the initial density at same particular pressure. So that temperature in degree C is 26.95 degree C and in Kelvin is 300 Kelvin. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Hebler Fluid Mechanics.